Have you ever stopped to think about what happens to all the leftover parts of a chicken after it's processed? Like the head, the feet, and the feathers? Most of us only see neatly packaged chicken breasts, thighs, or drumsticks in the grocery store. But behind every cut of meat lies a whole bird. And that means there's a lot more going on than what meets the eye. Today, we're going to dive into a surprisingly fascinating world. What actually happens to the parts of the chicken that don't usually make it onto your dinner plate? Let's explore right here on History of Simple Things. Let's start with the chicken head, which is often considered waste in many Western countries, but is far from useless. In some parts of Asia, especially in China and the Philippines, chicken heads are actually eaten as snacks. They can be grilled, deep fried, or cooked in stews. The skin and small bits of meat are considered flavorful, and the brain is seen as a delicacy. You'll even find them sold in street markets, skewered alongside other chicken parts like intestines or gizzards. But in countries where chicken heads aren't eaten, they don't just go straight to the landfill. Processing plants often send them to rendering facilities, where they're cooked down to separate fat and protein. The resulting material becomes animal feed ingredients, pet food, or even raw material for fertilizers. So even though you may not see a chicken head on your plate, it still finds a way back into the food chain, just not in the way you'd expect. Now let's move on to the chicken feet, sometimes called paws in the poultry industry. Unlike the heads, chicken feet have significant value, especially in global trade. They're incredibly popular in China and other Asian countries where they're known for their chewy, gelatin-rich texture. In fact, chicken feet are one of the most profitable byproducts of poultry processing. For instance, the U.S. exports millions of pounds of chicken feet to Asia every year, where they're turned into soups, dim sum dishes, and savory snacks. From a processing standpoint, chicken feet are thoroughly cleaned, scalded to remove the outer layer of skin, and then chilled or frozen before being exported. They're not just food either. Chicken feet are rich in collagen, which is the same protein used in beauty products, joint supplements, and even medical applications. So the next time you see a skincare product boasting natural collagen, there's a small chance it came from a chicken foot somewhere in the supply chain. What's usually thrown away in one country can be a valuable product in another. And now, on to the most overlooked part of all, the feathers. Every year, billions of chickens are processed worldwide, and with each one, a significant amount of feathers are produced. It might seem like waste at first glance, but the poultry industry has found innovative ways to reuse this material. The most common use is in feather meal, a high protein product made by hydrolyzing, drying and grinding feathers into a powder. This feather meal is mainly used as an animal feed supplement or fertilizer because it's rich in nitrogen and amino acids. It's not edible for humans, but it's incredibly useful for agriculture. Feathers are also being explored as a biodegradable material. Scientists and engineers are experimenting with keratin, the main protein found in feathers, to create eco-friendly plastics, insulation materials, and textiles. There's ongoing research into using feather fibers for lightweight composites, which could one day be used in things like car interiors or packaging materials. So those fluffy feathers aren't just soft, they might play a role in the future of sustainable manufacturing. Of course, not all chicken byproducts are repurposed perfectly. Some parts still end up as waste, especially in areas without efficient recycling systems. However, the trend in modern poultry processing is clear. 
minimize waste and maximize value. With billions of chickens processed globally, there's a huge incentive to find uses for every part of the bird. And it's not just about money, it's also about sustainability. Reducing waste means less strain on landfills and a smaller environmental footprint. It's fascinating to realize how interconnected the system is. What begins as a chicken raise for meat doesn't end with just wings and drumsticks. The heads go into animal feed, the feet are shipped across oceans as delicacies, and the feathers are turned into everything from fertilizer to scientific innovations. This circular system is a remarkable example of how the food industry tries to extract value from every component of an animal. There's also a cultural side to this story. Different parts of the world have different relationships with chicken byproducts. In Western countries, people tend to prefer clean, boneless meat cuts, while in other parts of the world, every part of the chicken is appreciated for its flavor and texture. In many traditional cuisines, using the entire animal is a sign of respect and resourcefulness. What one culture sees as scraps, another sees as ingredients for comfort food. And if you think that's the end of the story, not quite. Even chicken blood and organs are reused in various ways. In some cuisines, blood is cooked into dishes like congealed blood cakes or soups, while organs like the liver and heart are used in pet food or rendered for nutrient extraction. It shows just how much value can be found in parts most of us never think about. So the next time you enjoy a piece of chicken, remember that it's part of a much larger and more complex system than what you see on your plate. Behind the scenes, every feather, foot, and head has its place. Whether as a snack halfway across the world, a key ingredient in pet food, or even as part of an eco-friendly innovation. What might seem like waste at first glance is often the start of another product's journey. In the end, nothing truly goes to waste. At least, not if science, trade, and culture have anything to say about it. It's a fascinating reminder that even the humblest chicken part can play a role in something much bigger, from feeding people to fueling industries to helping the planet. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.